Welcome to another What's in the Box. My name is Jesse and I'm here with a game called Cowtown. Have you heard of Cowtown? Probably not. I haven't. But uh, this is a game by Richard Borg. And you can see there's a little price tag on it. Why is there a price tag, you say? Well, we picked this up at Dice Tower Con. And at the flea market there, the walkthrough flea market, Richard Borg is a regular attendee. He often sells his games there. And uh, this year, Melissa decided, I'm going to get one of Richard Borg's games. She actually picked up two of them. You can find Dragon Whisper unboxing in another video. But this one's Cowtown, a game to play till the cows come home. Um, this is published by Griffin Games. 30, 40 minutes, 3 to 6 players. Which, if you learned anything from watching the Dragon Whisper video, 3 to 6 players was a trick-taking game. So, will this be a trick-taking game? I don't know. Let's find out. But it's designed by Richard Borg, and, uh, yeah, other people I'm not familiar with. Hey, look at this. This has a date. July 2012. So Dragon Whisper did not have a date. Could not find it anywhere. But maybe it was on uh, BGG, and I found it out after recording this. I don't know. So, I should probably actually look at the table, shouldn't I? So, it's Cowtown right here. The book it's a really thick thing so it's just this one thing let's see all the cows have left the nearby ranches and headed down to Cowtown for a little cow rousing but it seems that things have gotten a little out of hoof and now you and your fellow cowpokes need to get these herding heavies back in line you will need to make the right moves to corral these cows before utter madness prevails in Cowtown. Object, have the most score cows when the game ends. In general, you gain the most score cows by being the first player in each round to get rid of all of your cards. Okay, so it's one of those kind of games. One of the get rid of your card games, okay. All right, let's take a peek. So we got the cows, cow minis by the way. <laughs> Here we go. Let's let's do a uh, what do they call it um, component drop. I think that's what Dice Tower calls it. Except this will be in real time. <laughs> so trying to give it some shade so you could see some defining details here. Anyways, yeah, whole lot of cows. Got a whole lot of cows. Ooh. There's no easy way to look at white cows here, but they do have little eyes. I'm sure you can kind of see that. Little tiny eyes. And there's a bunch of them. In fact, how many? 40. Do they need to be little minis? It doesn't hurt. But there you go. That's Cowtown, the minis part. Now we look at the cards, which is the game. Most of the game. So we have yellow back. Um, oh, okay. This is the back. These are live, folks, by the way. These unboxings. I don't edit these. So those are the backs. Let me check, take a look at these. Oh, when I'm taking off plastic in an unboxing, I tell you about twitch.tv slash heartboard games. Go see us live. Monday, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Sunday, 3 p.m. Don't forget to subscribe here. All right. More Cowtown cards. Okay. So let's take a peek at these together. Let's do this. Ooh. Stop shaking. All right. So we got a bunch of cards here. They go all the way up to 10. Twice, it looks like. Yeah. So yeah, you got a bunch of cards that go from 1 to 10, and you have, like, two just do-nothing cards. So that's the whole game. Guess I could split it back up, like that. Put this here, put this here. Anyway, that is Cow Town by Richard Borg by Griffin Games, which is now, I believe, Eagle Griffin Games. So even... 
that's, I guess, a uh, something kind of out of print. <laughs> They're not like that anymore. And knowledge on a box. Knowledge in a box. I don't know what that is. But that's it. Cowtown. What do you think of it? Post in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.